What's up everybody? Welcome back to my LEGO Star Wars Let's Play. Today we'll be getting the minikits for episode 3, chapter 5, Rune of the Jedi. Let's get right into it. For the first one, all you're gonna want to do is from the start head to the left over here behind this little pillar and there will be your first minikit. From the point of the first one, just head towards the camera. And once you get over here, you're going to find these little things that you can stack up. There's going to be three of them. Make sure you stack all those up. Let me take care of these guys. All right, they're taken care of. Probably should have done that before. But anyways, stack these three up, get a high jumping character. And you get the second one right there. For the third one, you're going to head over here to the right side of the first area. And you're going to want to shoot this a this explosive that's on top of the grapple point. Grapple up. Switch to a double jumping character or a high jumping character. Pop up here above the doorway. And then destroy this little window area. And there's your third mini kit. For minikit number four, once you get inside the ruined temple, whatever this is, you're going to want to use the force on this left pillar kind of thing to make the staircase. Head up here. Kill this guy. Head inside this little archway. And it is right there in the middle. You're going to get attacked by all these clowns, but you can just run past them all. On to number five. For the next mini kit, once you get to this broken ball that's broken in half, you're going to head straight towards the camera down these stairs. And then to the left, there is going to be one floating above the or over the edge. Just take a flying character, fly out, grab it, come back. And you got it. From there, the next one, you just want to come towards the camera again and to the right and head through this little arch door. Kill the enemies in here. They will have their backs turned to you. Once you do that, you're going to go around to these chairs and stack them up to make a pillar of chairs. From there, switch to a high jumping character. You might be able to do it with a double jump, but I'm not sure. But it is at the top of the room on top of the chairs. For me to get number seven, once you're a little bit further in the little in the level, once you're you have this little arm thing, you want to come to the right side over here to this first little section. Make your way through here. Oop, if I can get up. Make your way up here and it will be above this lever. So take a high jumping character and hop out right up here. From this last mini kit, just make your way out of here and go to the far left area. And for, it's pretty much the same thing. Just use the force here. Uh, which one? That one. And once again, high jumping character and I'll be right above the lever. Once you've opened up all three, or pulled all three lever, levers to open up the door to proceed with the level, you're going to want to come over here and jump up on this little platform and make it over here. Oh, I just failed. Just make your way across this little platform. And then once you're here, you should be able to jump it, but just to be safe, you can fly over this barrier and grab this mini kit and open up this door. And for the last one, make your way to the top of this area. And I just failed my jump. And you're going to want to pull the three levers on this side like you did for the actual level. Get that one. Will this take me up there? It will. Let's go. Pull this lever. And then this final one right here. And I'll bring that arm to where you can use a high jumpy character to get the mini kit. I'll make my way back up there. Once you get back up here, hop up on this platform. Don't fail. Holy crap. And then jump up for the final mini kit. 